After a race on Sunday, Formula 1 drivers normally head out to give press interviews on how their race went. So when Sebastian Vettel came out and was speaking to the press, you'll notice that his face and his white racing overalls are covered in black dust. So what is this and why is the FIA stepping in to control this? In an interview, Vettel revealed that it was carbon brake dust. Formula 1 brakes are some of the most high-tech brakes on the planet. They are required to slow down the car that can do over 300 km per hour in a short space. They can decelerate to more than 5G. That means under peak braking, the driver's body is moved forward with a force 5 times that of the normal position. To put this in perspective, astronauts are said to experience around 3Gs during liftoff. That's just mental. But all this power comes at a price. The carbon fiber brakes often throw brake dust at drivers. Brake dust isn't just a thing in Formula 1 though, even your car at home is gonna have brake dust. The next time you're washing the wheels of your car, pay attention and notice how the water is turning black as it hits the wheel. That's because brake dust collects on your wheel. In a normal car, you don't really have to deal with it because you have doors, windows and you're protected from all the elements leave alone brake dust. But that's not the case in Formula 1. Drivers are subjected to the elements be it rain, sun or even brake dust. On Sunday, Vettel requested the FIA to look into the issue and protect the health of the drivers. He said, That's something I think they need to work on because it's the design of the brake ducts this year. The front axle is blowing out the brake dust onto our faces and it's not good. Carbon dust is not really something healthy to breathe in. I hope the FIA looks into this very soon because it's pointless and it's easy to change. Matt Sommerfield from Motorsport.com wrote, Vettel said the long-running issue had worsened this season owing to the new brake duct layout. With drivers now not only subjected to brake dust generated by a car they're following, but also brake dust created by their own car. Vettel isn't the first driver to have issues with brake dust though. Former F1 racer Mika Salo opened up about his struggles with the sport. He raced from 1994 to 2002 with a hole in his lungs. But he couldn't have surgery for his lungs because of how demanding the Formula 1 season was. So he got the surgery once he retired. Speaking in an interview, he said, It went on for my whole Formula 1 career because there was no time to have an operation. As soon as I stopped Formula 1, I went to have an operation and they had to remove the part of the lung that was damaged. Then the doctor said, yes, they're completely black, your lungs. And they did some tests and it was carbon. Even Valtteri Bottas, who helped Mercedes win five championships, had issues with the dust. He said, anytime after the race, when you sneeze, it is black. So year after year, I'm not sure what it does to your body. I think no one ever looked into it. I would rather be breathing clean air, but I'm not sure that can be done. Keep in mind, he said this back in 2019. But the good news is that the FIA has finally decided to look into the matter. According to Motorsports.com, the FIA was made aware of Vettel's concerns immediately after the Red Bull Ring race and have now elected to look into the matter. Carbon dust can be particularly harmful, so it could take a while for these issues to come to a complete halt. Just like brake dust, Formula 1 has had a lot of incidents this year, and that can be really tough to keep up with. So stick around and subscribe to Fervent Motorsports as we get you all Formula 1 related news on this channel.